What's up everyone, welcome back to a new video. Today I'm bringing back, temporarily, a um, old series that I did maybe a year and a half ago, two years ago. I started a long time ago, but ultimately ended doing it because, you know, buying um, products for that type of video slash series, it just wasn't worth it in the end, but it was a lot of fun. And it's called Throwback Thursday. So as you see in front of me, I have a box of 2016 Panini Contenders Football. This is Hobby, of course. Got a box of this, and I actually have a second one. So I have two boxes of this. Now there's some monsters that can be found in here. There's risks and rewards with buying old stuff. You know, you can get the proven guys, you know, you can get Wentz, Goff, Zeke, and at the same time, you can get a guy like Pack and Lynch, who at the time probably would, would have been a you know potential developmental guy who might still hold some value. Not anymore. So you never know what's gonna happen. But thought I'd get this. Very, very cool. Gonna be a lot of fun. Um, I'm not bringing Throwback Thursday back for good, but uh, yeah, I just thought I'd pick a few of these older boxes up. My LCS recently got some a little bit old stuff in, so decided to pick this up. Um, one thing I should say though is originally when I started this series, I did only stuff within the past three years as my throwback products, three or four years. Uh, I know like, Packer Cards started his series a little bit after too, and he does old, older stuff. So. I don't do that super old stuff. I do this kind of stuff. So stuff from with recent years, stuff that I remember that I've opened. So kind of throwing it back to that. So with that being said, let's uh, get into this. You have five autographs. On average, you can get five to six. Um, 24 packs, five cards per pack. So cracked ice tickets. Very nice. That's what we're looking for. Hobby exclusive ultra rare silver and golden tickets. I've still never seen any of those before. Seen one on eBay, but never in person. I never pulled one, obviously, because they're very rare. So let's crack into this. I like being nice to the boxes. Hopefully they'll be nice to me. Ignore these fillers, I just use it to prop the box up. So yeah, this is a, definitely a high risk, high reward product because you can walk away with you know, some not good stuff, but you can get those insane monsters. And if I was really smart, I would probably just sell the box or not bother the first, first place, but I like ripping. I think we all like ripping. So we're gonna rip. Some 2016 stuff. Here we go. Fresh box. Let's pull these packs out. There we go. 12 here and 12 here. Empty guy. Four, four, four. And four, four, four. So let's start with. Uh, you know what? We never start on the left side. Let's start on the left side this time. So pack number one. In the background, by the way, I have my uh, Zeke from Optic um, and Cracked Ice Joe Mixon. So that's kind of an example of what those Cracked Ice look like. Obviously, it's a different design for this year in 2016, but still very nice stuff. So maybe we can pull something nice, um, not getting my hopes super high, but it'd be cool to pull a Wentz or a Goff. I don't think I ever pulled an auto of any of them. I only pulled one Zeke, never pulled the DAC during the year, but I pulled one DAC recently in random hobby packs. Here's what the design looks like. Sometimes centering can be a little bit off for these cards, but it's not too big of a deal. So, Landry, David Johnson, Sam Bradford, Frank Gore, and then a oh, numbered card. Let me put the space right here. Legendary Contenders of Eric Dickerson. That's numbered 78 of 99. Kind of tough to get that to focus, but it's very shiny. And it's on dark, a dark background, so it's tough to see. But 78 of 99. Guess you'll have to take my word for it. Promise you I'm not lying. All right, pack number two. It would be crazy to hit like, I don't know, cracked ice once, although the odds are obviously not in my favor. If I bought two cases of this stuff, it'd still not be in my favor. So not to show you how tough that kind of stuff is to pull, but we're gonna take our chances and see if we, see if we can get something nice, right? Derek Carr, Kirk Cousins, Alex Smith, Jay Cutler. So it looks like the inserts are at the end for 2016, whereas in 2017, the most recent one we opened, the inserts are in the middle, actually. So, Jalen Smith, Miles Jack. Miles Jack's pretty good. I wish the Giants drafted him, or traded up for him, at least, in that second round that year. We did get Sterling Shepard, so I guess I'm not going to complain. But maybe we should have passed on Eli Apple. I don't know. We'll see how he does this year. Of course, the good rookies to pull, Wenskoff, Dak, Zeke, um, Derrick Henry's another one. Wolf. Fuller, I think it's pretty solid. There's some good guys, but then there's like 
first rounders like Corey Coleman. Um, Jordan Howard is another good one. Alshon, Big Ben, Jonathan Stewart, Robert Griffin, Devontae Freeman. I'm having a tough time remembering all the uh, good rookies. Michael Thomas, all the signatures pretty bad. Um, let's look right here. So there's a, there's a bad one, Paxton Lynch. And I know I'm forgetting someone, but I don't know. Maybe I'll remember it later. I'm pretty sure there's another good rookie. All right. Tony Romo. Well, this is a season ticket. Now it'd be, I guess, a retired or legendary ticket. Oh, here we go. Ronnie Stanley is our auto. So these are very, all the way at the end. There we go. He's a tackle for the Ravens. I'm pretty sure you get one on-card auto per box, too. He was a first-rounder. Giants almost took him. Here we go. The card sleeves. All right. Ronnie Stanley. A little off sticker, but what you going to do? It's very rare to get O lineman cards. I mean, the early, you know, draft stuff and then contenders is really where you can get it from. All right. So there we go. One down. Four left, possibly five. Okay. So we have. Tavon Austin, now with the Cowboys, Melvin Gordon, I like him. Jeremy Macklin, don't even know where he is anymore. I think like the Ravens, I don't know. Jeremy Langford, and then Miles Jack, Rookie of the Year, Contenders. Insert right there. I would make these really messy piles, but yeah, what you gonna do? Sorry guys, hopefully no one's super OCD about it. Golden Tate, third. Mike Evans, Jordan Matthews, Vaughn Miller, and we have the base version of the legendary contenders, Eric Dickerson. We just pulled the number one earlier. These two. All right, next pack. DeMarco Murray, retired now. Devontae Parker. The every year breakout guy who never ends up breaking out. Larry Fitzgerald, Zach Ertz, CJ Anderson, now a Panther, I believe. All right. Looks like the second stack will have most of our autos. Mari Cooper, Thomas Rawls, uh, Andy Dalton, Adrian Peterson, and Dez and Romo, both not Cowboys anymore, touchdown tandems. Who knows where Dez is going to go, although maybe by the time I post this, he has signed. But Dez and Romo, as soon as just a couple years ago, they were very good. And then out of nowhere, Romo retires, Dez no longer with the team. Crazy how football works sometimes. Primes def definitely aren't as long as if you were, you know, an NBA or MLB player. Kevin White, Le'Veon Bell, T.Y. Hilton, Tyrod Taylor. Corey Coleman, Rookie of the Year contenders. Didn't end up contending much for that, but there you go. Kept breaking his hand. Oh, kind of just destroyed that one. Sorry, Pack. Maybe we'll get rewarded with a nice once. Devin Fungus. And it's upside down. Travis Benjamin. Uh, Darren Rodgers, DeAndre Hopkins, and MVP contenders Matt Stafford. All right, last two packs in this stack, and then we get to the second 12, which maybe has all the monsters in there. All right, Jason Witten, Rob Gronkowski. We have Terrell Pryor, Brandon Cooks, Rashad Jennings. That was all base. You got a lot of basing contenders and inserts. Next one up Julio Jones, Marcus Mariota, Trevor Simeon, Russell Wilson, and Steve Smith Sr. So one auto in the, that left stack. So the good thing we saved the best for last, the right stack, which should be hitting four autos at least in here. We did hit a first rounder. I think it was the. Sixth or seventh pick? I think sixth pick, right after Jalen Ramsey, or maybe seven. I think the Forrest Buckner went six. I think he went seven. 
Although, I could be remembering wrong. Who knows? Not that it matters too much. Delaney Walker, Tom Brady, upside down Jordan Reed, uh, Jamal Charles, Quan Treadwell. He didn't end up contending much either. Um, I don't even know if this is, or this isn't even a thing anymore, so oh well. Next pack. I have a huge mess of just pack wrappers and little dummy cards. Next to me, I'm going to have to clean up for a while. Robert Quinn, Andrew Luck, Doug Martin. Looks like we have an auto, possibly? Nope, never mind. Ryan Matthews. And then uh, Braxton Miller, Leonte Carrillo, round numbers. All right. Tons of those little filler cards. Uh, insert promotion cards. But I use them to ship sometimes, so I guess I don't mind. Khalil Mack, I really hope he doesn't get traded. I'll be furious if he gets traded. He better stay a Raider. Matt Stafford, Antonio Brown, Demarius Thomas, and Doug Baldwin. Another all base pack. Eventually we got hit an auto, right? I hope. It would really stink if this was box was open for packs and you ripped through all these packs and only got one auto so far. Good thing we have the box. Kelvin Benjamin, Jeremy Hill, I think. This might be an auto. Um, Stefan Diggs, Blake Bortles, and uh, Johnny Holton. Never heard of him, but all right, cool. Johnny Holton. There we go. All right. We still have eight packs. Looking for a good amount of autos still, maybe three to four. Okay. Dez, Fitzpatrick, Blaine Gabbert, Sean McCoy, Matt Jones. Another base city pack. Trying not to damage anything. There we go. All right. Cam Newton. Uh, Bart Starr. Huh. It's the first retired guy we got. Yeah, I think it's the first retired guy we got. J.J. Watt, Jameis Winston, and Lawrence Taylor. Obviously, we got inserts, but I'm talking about season tickets-wise. Legendary Contenders, LT. So we should get three autos in these six packs. Maybe we'll get some last pack mojo and hit a monster at the end. I would not be mad. Maybe there's an auto here. I don't know. It's kind of a separation there. Julian Edelman, Todd Gurley. RG3, another auto, Devontae Freeman, Miles Jack, that's a pretty good one. Auto's a little off sticker, but he's a good player. Put that right here while I sleeve him up. Already we got two pretty solid guys from that class, and Stanley and Jack. Doesn't know what that means for the rest of our autos, chance-wise, but let me carefully get this guy in the sleeve. There we go. All right. Keep on moving along. Still have, should have an on-card auto. Philip Rivers, Allen Robinson, Ryan Tannehill, Carson Palmer, uh, Devontae Booker. Oh, that's cool. I'll put that right here. Devontae Booker, those are those little draft class autos, and it is on card. All right, let me. Sleep this guy up. It's a little fingerprint. I assume it's his finger fingerprint. Well, maybe someone at Panini's, but yeah. Now Royce Freeman's there, so he might be the one taking that job. But that's pretty cool. Number eleven of sixteen, round four, number one three six overall. Not bad, not bad at all. All right, four more packs. So that was our on card auto. Should have one more though. Should have one more. Marvin Jones Jr. Brock Osweiler. Uh, Jeremy Macklin. Jeremy Langford. And Jonathan Stewart. Number 249. I was very upset when the Giants signed him. Didn't make any sense. 
and he's playing awful in the preseason, as expected. I'll put it right here. Three packs left. Drew Brees, Mike Evans, Jordan Matthews, Von Miller. All right, sorry, I had to cut the camera real quick. We got MVP contenders, Drew Brees. I think our last auto might be here. Eli Manning, Matt Forte, Richard Sherman, AJ Green, and Jerron Reed. Oh, that's nice. Not a bad box. Uh, six of 24 for the Seahawks. I've rarely hit any Seahawks stuff. Don't know when he was drafted. I want to say maybe second round. Remember he was in the green room and didn't get drafted and I felt really bad. Cracked ice. There we go. Not a bad box at all. Last pack. Wouldn't mind a six auto. That'd be cool. But from the looks of it, we don't because I see base on the back. Carlos Hyde, Joe Flacco, Matt Ryan, TJ Yeldon, and Sammy Watkins. So, let's recap that really quickly. Put these right here because I'll need them at the end. Um, here's our inserts. Let's go about contenders as you can recap it pretty quickly. You know, let me just slide this on. Here we go. Alright, so we have the numbered uh, Eric Dickerson to 99. MVP contenders, Drew Brees, Jonathan Stewart to 249. Braxton Miller, Leonte Carew, uh, Quan Treadwell. You know, bunch of, we've seen these inserts all the time. Not too rare. So, autos, we did get five as expected. We had this cracked ice, Jerron Reed. Seahawks fans, how is he doing? I'm not too sure. I think he's a D tackle, right? Yeah, D tackle. There you go. Uh, Devontae Booker, number to 16. So, two super short print autos. This one's on card. And then Miles Jack. Johnny Holton and Ronnie Stanley. So not bad at all, really. Um, pretty good tackle, I think. At least he was drafted pretty high. So, Ronnie Stanley, um, Miles Jack, he's pretty good. Devontae Booker, probably going to be splitting carries with Royce Freeman and Jerron Reed cracked ice. So, no complaints from me. Pretty solid. I still have that last box. I don't know if I'm going to keep it or sell it. I was going to sell it if I pulled something huge out of this one. But it was just a, a, a good box, so who knows? I'll make a decision, and uh, if I rip it, you'll know. So, uh, yeah, let me know what, if you want me to rip any older products. Um, there are some I've been thinking of. I really want to rip more Optic from 2016, because that's the really good draft class. But uh, I guess we'll see. So that's going to do it, guys. Thanks for watching. Please like and sub, and I'll see you guys later. Peace out.